What's up, YouTube? So, I'm outside. I'm trying to get some fresh air, and uh, my mom told me I need to get outside. She said, you just stand inside the house. Well, she knows that I'm suffering with this um, vertigo, and it's a little difficult um, to be outside, or to walk around, rather, because um, I'm constantly, like, oh, dealing with episodes of the mm. sorry I'm this vertigo is horrible it's beating the stank out of me so anyway um, I'm dealing with this but I'm trying to do my videos at the same time and it's hard but I'm I'm do that so I got my sunglasses on cuz sometimes the sunlight or the light outside um, it's distressing, so I'm sorry if I had on my sunglasses doing this. Um, I'm just trying to get through it. Okay, so my topic is basically on the, a package deal, like when people are in a relationship, a man and a woman, uh, who either woman has children or the man has children um, by another party, and um, they either get married or they're living together or whatever, co you know, cohabitating. And basically, um, a lot of times that package deal is misunderstood and um, people overstep their bounds or actually don't know where they should be at in the relationship. So, I'm sorry, this is every day down my street, so, you know, my, my some of the people I know are like, they, they say something about, um, living in a hood but i don't really live in a hood hood i guess it's a middle i don't know it's not an upper middle class i guess it's a middle lower middle class or some class i don't know what class it is but everyone here works we all have they all have jobs pretty much um and live pretty decently you know i think most of my homeowners i don't know i don't think we have any renters um that i know of but anyway off this back to the subject um, if you have, uh, if you have like a, you're a step parent or possible step mom, step dad, or, you know, the person's living with, and then they have a child, you have to know what your boundaries are. You can't just be out here, um, trying to put yourself in places that you actually don't belong. Um, and this was, uh, I had a friend who had this situation as well, I guess I brought it up because, um, she was she's going through a little situation right now and um i guess the, the well i don't guess i know um from what her significant other stated to her was like a deal breaker because it basically excluded her child from activities because of something he had done but he's a kid you know he's only he's a kid so kids are going to make mistakes before they turn 20 they're going to make a thousand and one mistakes before they turn 35. And so you have to just be supportive, try to make sure you get them right. Now, you may have to beat their tail. I ain't saying don't beat them. I'm not saying that. Because I'm going to jack you up. And then I'm going to cuss you out. And then I'm going to jack you up again. I'm going to cuss you out again. Then I'm going to forgive you. And move on. But I got to beat you at least twice. <laughs> okay, so... Um, and so, um, I also had a friend who, her husband was, um, her ex-husband, we married kind of quickly after their divorce, um, because it was a female that he was already kind of having a relationship with while they were married. And so, um, this female felt like she had the authority to step in and do things that she had no, she didn't even discuss with my friend. So, um, the child needed to be picked up from school and, oh, Ooh. Sorry, I had another episode. Um, he was not able to pick him up. And so they called her and she said, or vice versa, she wasn't able to pick him up and dad needed to pick him up. And dad was going to pick him up, but some kind of way the new wife decided she was going to go pick him up. But she wasn't an authorized person to pick the child up from the school. And so mom didn't know she picked the child up from school. And when the mom got there to get the child, Oh yeah, dad couldn't pick her up. Mom went to go pick her up. Stepmom picked her up. Mom didn't know because she wasn't informed. Mom got their child missing. 
she's screaming, she's she's mad, she's trying to figure out where her child is. You know, he was young at this time too, so she's like, oh Lord, somebody picked up my child and took him home, and where's my baby? You know, so he got to a whole big thing. She's like, you had no authority to pick up my child. And if you go pick up my child, you could at least give me the courtesy of calling me and letting me know. Don't have me around here panicking. This stuff didn't do anything. So it became a whole big thing. And she was constantly doing stuff without conferring with the mother. You are not the child's mother. If you are a significant other, stepdad or whatever, you're not that child's parent. You have no right to inject yourself into that child and try to basically displace the, the actual biological parent displace a biological parent or pretend like you are uh, you have some say so because you are sleeping with the person that that helped make the child with you which means nothing because they, you're sleeping with them means nothing at all and so nobody cares about that and uh, so I think that the best thing that you could do is basically uh, just remember where your place is um, and then there's also those people who are in a relationship with someone who are um, <laughs> okay you like the kid but like me for instance I was in a relationship with someone my ex kept trying to push their kid off on me and I know my place I knew my place I already raised my kids so I'm not trying to raise yours your child has a mother I'm gonna offer my little input I'm gonna do things with her and you know we're gonna communicate and do whatever, whatever but my job is not to raise her. My, I'm just a girlfriend. So, like I told him, I'm just a girlfriend. I'm, I'm not gonna get involved in mother duties. Or, I'm just a girlfriend. That's not my place. I'm just, I'm not your wife. I'm, I'm just your girlfriend. You can replace me with a new girlfriend, which he did, any minute. So guess what? New girlfriend came along. That don't mean nothing. Just like when she found a new man. Guess what? It's a new man could come along at any time. So psh, you can't think you can replace somebody's parent with some piece you didn't you ain't, that's not even your wife it's just a girlfriend you need to know your place um people get caught up because they're they're so jealous of the parent that they want to try to show out and the thing you shouldn't try to do is show out because you're not going to win in that instance a child is not going to hate their parent and love you it's not going to happen you can say all what you want to say about the dang old freaking um, parent all you want. You can say all kinds of stupid stuff and try to downrate them in front of that kid because that kid is going to not love, going to not not love their parent. Trust me, you're not going to make them want you any more than anything else. So if you think that for a minute you're going to make them love you more and hate their parent, you got another thing coming, baby. You're wasting your time. So the best thing for you to do is try to communicate with the mother like I had issues, issues communicating with his child's mother because she well when we first got together she had issues with me from the start because he was with me and um, I guess she thought that oh he ain't gonna find nobody better than me <laughs> you you really aren't she wasn't really that much I mean she ain't that much to find though, so I mean, anyway, uh, replacing her is pretty easy. Um, and so, um, the one thing I did like about her, that she's, uh, well, I don't know how she is now, but she's always was looking to move herself forward in life. She saw her future. She saw herself being in a place. And she could always see that to move herself without him and she actually succeeded in moving herself forward without him, such as I did as well. And um, that was already something, um, you know, you try to wait for a person to move and they don't, they're stagnant. So anyway, I digress. I need to get back to my topic. So the topic is not, you know, basically knowing it's a package deal and knowing what your place is and knowing that you can't, um, you can't just overstep your bounds or understep your bounds. If the ch child is there and you can't just walk around like, well, it ain't my kid, I ain't got to talk to her. Or it ain't my kid, I ain't got to help her with homework. Or it ain't my kid, I ain't got to help him do anything. He need to go to the bathroom. Well, that's your responsibility. You need to help him go to the bathroom. Or I don't have to feed him. If he don't eat, he don't eat. You need to come fix your child some food. I had a co-worker like that who was just like, 
she would fix take care of hers but when his came it was like a totally different story like you need to feed your kid and you need to take your kid with you and a man becomes resentful you thinking that he shouldn't care but your children are not his children he treats your children like his children but his child you have you have resentment because you're resentful towards his mother so you treat the child poorly and you can't do that you can't you can't do that that makes a man resentful I mean, best believe he 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 is not going to stay with you. He's not. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you look. He is not going to stay with you. So just remember that, you know, it's a package deal. That's why I I tell men that um I don't really date men with I don't date them with small children simply because that's an attachment. And if you're dating someone who is a small child, you have to interact with that child and instill something, put something in them. Because children are like sponges when they're small. You, you put things in them. I don't want to inject, interject anything for myself into a child. But that man and I have not had a, don't have a commitment. We're just, you know, in a, I'm just his girlfriend. I'm not, I don't want to do that. I, I've already been through that before where the child, his, my ex, child, I know, I, I, I really cared about her, but in the end of all things, it didn't matter what I did because that's his kid and that's not mine. So he really didn't give a crap about what I was going through and because I missed her, who cares? Um, he tried to make sure he built a new relationship with a new chick. So there you go. My, I didn't matter. And so I, I'm not doing that again. So you have children, small kids, I, I, I can't mess with you. I'd rather have your children older and they've already been grown. They, got, they can move on their own and then we can communicate with each other and talk. Ha ha ha. But, you know, if things don't work out with us, it'd be like, they'd be like, yeah, whatever. You know, and I'd be like, okay, well, it was good to see them. I'm glad you, you have good children, but they won't really be involved in our life. You know, like they, they have their own thing to do. And so um, to me, that would probably be better. Um, that's why I really don't date men with children um, for that reason alone. When you get attachment to a child and it's over some years too it wasn't a few months it was over like four years so i really got to know that child and um it was difficult you know so um yeah it's a package deal but you can't ignore the child and you can't mistreat children because you have an issue with the parent you also have to know that okay that's not your child and you need to communicate with the parent on things you're going to do you just don't make decisions uh, she don't like it too bad. He at my house. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Because you wouldn't appreciate the same thing when it's coming to your child and your child's father with a new girlfriend or whoever, the, your your child's mother with a new boyfriend. You wouldn't appreciate it. So you have to remember that Well, how you want to be treated is how you're going to treat others, okay? All right, so um, tell me what you guys think about that. You know, um, he basically, the guy, my friend was saying, basically, said he he's no longer welcome in any place they're going to be and that he don't forgive them and you know and basically he he don't trust him and just he just this kid he's a kid literally literally I mean he's a kid it's like he's he gonna make a mess up but that's how it got to be so but like I said just tell me what you guys think about that and you know what would you do as a parent a step parent um what would you do um as not even a step parent, but if you're dealing with people who have children, how do you handle those situations with them when it comes down to um, dealing with situations that's concerning the child, you yourself and the parent, you that your significant other, wife, girlfriend, or the, and the parent of the child? How do you deal with those situations? How have you dealt with it? And were they good or were they bad? You know, let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. All right. See you on my next video. The Capricorn.